Alright, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about downloading 3D Studio 2014 at home uh, so you can work on some homework from your home computer. Uh, this is actually an updated video. This is part of my tips and tricks series where um, I go through some random stuff and this is how to download 3D Studio at home. Now you're going to need uh, internet connection and the file can actually get pretty big but you also have to create a 3D account as well so you'll need some sort of email uh, email address so I mean everybody should have that anyway so let's go ahead and get started alright I'm gonna go here and bring up Google so uh, you're gonna go to Google and you're going to actually you can type in Autodesk or you can just type in Autodesk up here U-T-O-D-E-S-K dot com and you will get the Autodesk website. Now, um, I'm already signed in. I want to sign out real quick just so I can go through the process with you. So if you scroll all the way down, um, there's something down here usually that says free resources. Now this obviously may change, but generally at the bottom they'll have something that says something like free software for students and then get software. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to say education community get free software what we're looking for is 3d studio max so and that's right here it looks like a, a funny three now this is the 2014 version so we're going to make sure that we get the 2014 version so you need to create an account all right so click on create an account and it's going to think for a second and it's going to say where are you from and you can type un for United States and it'll pop up an educational role student and then you'll put your birthday in so January 1st uh, let's say you're born in 2002 next you put your name uh, your name is Bing Bong and whatever your email address yada yada you'll sign up and then I'm pretty sure they send you an email and then you get to the point where you have an account now eventually once you sign in it'll have your name up here and then you're going to choose your version now you want to choose 2014 for this class this year now uh, later on you may have different ones but you definitely want to make sure you use 2014 okay the operating system it only works on Windows 64-bit uh, Windows machines uh, and then language would be English or, well, if you're comfortable with another language, that's fine. I don't think it'll actually matter with a file if you save it. Um, that's a good question, but it doesn't really matter. The important part is the operating system is 64-bit. Um, let's see. Oh, let me see if I can log in. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, you'll sign in, and right here where it says choose your version, you're going to want to choose 3D Studio Max 2014. Operating system is Windows 64-bit, and the language is whatever you're most comfortable with. And it'll say install now. It is a large file, um, probably in the range of, I don't know, about 10 gigs. So it will take a long time to download. Uh, and then when you install it, uh, you should be up and running pretty quickly and that's basically it it's not you know really difficult but mostly you just want to make sure you're on the the right page from the very beginning so once again at autodesk.com scroll all the way down to the bottom it says free software for students now in the past it's not quite looked the same so in the future it may not quite look exactly the same but usually at the bottom somewhere you'll be able to find free software for students um, also, sometimes you can find it at this at this bottom, you know, set of links as well. So I hope that helps, and I hope you can get it running on your home computer. That's it. Have a good one. Bye.